going on guys welcome back to the final race vlog of 2023 round 10 rolling oaks niowa <clears throat> i came up with muff we got his rig the marriott Muff's right there Morning. axel's right there this is going to be a little different guys we are working this round so we'll still have the usual action uh, but we'll, sh we'll show you some of the behind the scenes things that go on on a work day so we just say we're getting ready to meet with the workers the workers are all over there and uh we'll see what we got to do today she said we'll probably start doing arrows stuff like that so we'll show you some of that we'll get you guys race action on sunday and um we will be able to ride the track not sure if we can ride it today or tomorrow but we will definitely get a video of that one lap on a track that has not been raced so that's going to be cool to see just how a track deteriorates race after race after race check a few things out we checked that tower out which was pretty cool they made a really cool sign we'll get a close-up of that and uh we walked around a little bit not too much but today we'll probably see the whole place and we'll show you guys uh some of rolling oaks this is a brand new track never race so i'm definitely excited to check this place out all right guys we are actually uh working on the peewee track right now fresh cut no one's ever raced it it's friggin money these guys are gonna have a killer track and also the big bikes and big quads will run this section backwards so we're just doing ribbon you can see all the yellow ribbon basically the start was down there so we've been working our way up muff muff is right there weather's looking good there's a chance of rain today but tomorrow saturday and the race day look perfect so it should be prime conditions for every every race all right we gotta be very quiet we just spotted a wild beast out in the woods it's a yamaha we don't want to get too close otherwise we'll scare it it's one of those yamaha 450 odds ribbon for days guys you can see all oh, way out there where we started way down there and it just kind of goes back and forth back and forth down over there and now we're kind of coming up through this section not straight up there i think we're on our third or fourth roll of ribbon each lots of ribbon I keep moving we are still out here probably almost to the end of the peewee track trying to give you guys lots of lines so this is also part of the adult track in the opposite direction so the adults will be going that way and peewees will be going this way you can see the pink and black arrows and the orange and black arrows that way me and muff are trying to open up some lines for passing so lots of room for quads lots of room for bikes show you guys how this looks from both angles you can come into it and split off go left or go right check it out you can even go i mean you could go through here the main line in the middle but if there's traffic you can come to the right come through there or Stay really wide to the right and go that way. Definitely not too bad. What's up, everyone? It's freaking Saturday. The crew made it in. Brian and Al came right here. They made it in a little after Trevor, Mark, and Josh, and Lyle's here. We did do a lap near the end of the day, just an easy lap on the adult track, and I will say that it looks freaking mint. So we'll try to get out there. And uh, if I don't show you guys any of that, we're definitely going to do a full lap video. So just stay tuned. Look at all the workers gathering. See all the <clears throat> yellow shirts. Surprisingly, it's actually not too cold. Check out the view, guys. Look at that. Look at all the clouds down low. Friggin' wild. It's going to be absolutely beautiful today no clouds it's gonna be a good day for all you races you guys are gonna love this track yeah let's go we just gotta go hard uh i go the hardest i bring the pain not what she used to it's all part of the Adrenaline pumping through my veins, can't relax 
original I am not the same as these cats I sting them if they never ever mind in their beeswax I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats Never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at You'll never get a trophy cause they all here where we at You better believe that When it's all said and done, I still be here standing Never took a loss and it ain't something that I'm planning I dare you to say something, my focus is ain't one Every dog has his day, it's been mine since day one This is real pride and I'm still climbing While you still trying, I'm still shining, it's real blinding And I'm getting hotter too, talking top to I'm not a two. You let the pressure bother you and I do what I gotta do Let's go home They know in between, we go for these dreams to silence Hard work, don't mistake it for magic We been shooting in the gym This is Chuck E. We crack top three overall for this last round at Rowan Oaks Give it up for him, top three
You gotta get up. Keep going. I'd have been knocked down a thousand times. Yeah, I traveled around a thousand miles. Feeling so tired, but you know I can't stop now. Can't wait too far. Won't throw when it's out. It ain't looking real good, but I won't give up. Pac said that I gotta keep my head up, so I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm standing right here. Demons all around, but I ain't got no fear. <laughs> guys we made it home it is now monday we got home super late last night we hit a ton of traffic guys we didn't get home we didn't get to muff shop until about 12 30 a.m at night i didn't get home till about one i didn't even bother taking all my stuff home last night just because it would have been even later it was dark so we just did that now we just got the truck unloaded First off, a huge thanks to Justin, a.k.a. Muff, Muff Motorsports. Make sure you guys check him out um, for driving, for putting me up in his Marriott toy hauler, fifth wheel. It was awesome. Um, we didn't race this weekend, guys. A lot of you guys probably figured that out as you saw me um, around and about the whole weekend. We ended up working this round, guys, all right? It's not the first time I worked a race. I did a work day in 2021 at the end of the year at Twisted Fence. Um, it's a great experience. I definitely highly recommend if you guys have never done a work day, even if you just do it once, I definitely recommend just doing one. It's a good experience. 
you'll see the inner workings of how a track is put together how the whole weekend goes you know it's i just think it's good to good to do you guys should definitely check one out it's it's a good time too you, you can get to ride you get to ride the track before everyone rides the track so that's fun you can ride the track before it's torn apart which is fun and there's a lot of different things you can do and help out we you know me and justin we spent the day on friday ribboning off the entire peewee track we used about twelve thousand feet of ribbon spent the whole day guys the whole day good eight hours out there but before we did that we helped set up one of the big tents for the nioa area that didn't take too long but we literally spent the better part of the day doing the ribbon um, which was fun so we got to open up some lines for the peewees change it up as we saw fit and uh i thought the peewee track overall was awesome hopefully you guys thought the same we do have a dirty quad all right so my buddy mark parter he was trying to stay in the top 25 overall so friday night we partied pretty hard you know i had the great idea of telling him to race my quad on sunday <laughs> It was totally fine. I did say if you break it though, you are responsible to fix it. But Potter, he's he's an OG racer. You know, he did fine. So this is the aftermath. The track overall, we had a little dust, guys. There's a little tiny mud out there. Nothing like the last race, but the track could have used a little rain. It would have held up a little better. But Potter did really good. He got fourth in senior A lockup number one in the class senior A 40 plus, which is awesome. We're gonna add another banner to the collection we do have five we have a couple in the house uh, so we did race the last time we won in vet in uh, senior a was 2020 you can see right there 2020 2021 we moved up to vet a 2021 right there we moved up to vet a and you guys most of you know that in 2022 we did not race for points we just did a couple of races um came back this year ready to race missing it missing the competition missing just the whole racing experience hanging out camping all that stuff it's always a good time so we got it done this year definitely definitely pumped um it's definitely cool to win a championship i i was with the exception of that one dnf at round two I was pretty consistent. I was on the podium every race. We had two wins, which was good. And the class as a whole was extremely tight, Ex extremely tight racing. Just like in 2021 with the Vet A guys, uh, we had four different races that all had two wins. And then we had a couple of guys that grabbed wins. <clears throat> so that's about it. Like I said, make sure you guys drop a comment and let me know what you thought of the track. So I heard a lot of good feedback. I'm not going to lie. A lot of good feedback, especially for the little guys. The little guys had a, had great conditions for once. The last couple of rounds, they've been getting caught with a little mud, a little rain. So they lucked out. They had prime conditions for their race, which is good. Um, they had a pit bike race on Saturday night, which was a big hit. They did the striders. They did bikes. Then they did pit bikes. They did pit quads. So it was packed you guys know the deal give me a thumbs up on this video that helps a ton drop comments like i said and if you're not yet please subscribe and we'll see you in 2024 all right peace